Audio Jungle. We're here celebrating the 8th Annual Hamilton Behind the Camera Awards here at the Wilshire Ebell. Uh, it's a fantastic tradition that Hamilton started years ago, honoring the oftentimes many unsung heroes behind the camera. We are very excited this year because at the same time that we have the Hamilton Behind the Camera Award, our watch is playing a role in Interstellar. The watch plays a critical role in the movie. As an actor, I would be nowhere if it wasn't for directors, cinematographers, props departments, um, costumes, music. Sandra Adair is an incredible editor. We worked together on this movie called Boyhood. They shot, we shot a week a year and they edit it for a month every year. So she basically spent 12 months editing this movie. Just a phenomenally humongous amount of time in an editing room on one project and um, she just edited it with such grace and found such beautiful moments and she's just so talented and I'm really, really happy that she's being celebrated. I've got a very, very long-term relationship with Dan and Weta, obviously, over, over 15 years now. It's not just the technology, it's the, um, the artistry and the kind of the culture that surrounds Weta and their ability to transform actors' performances into these digital characters. So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not something that can be done overnight or bought overnight. It's a, it's a team of people that have grown over many, many years, and Dan's such an excellent leader, and um, so it's a real honour to, to present him. What Nora and Ido and Teddy did with this movie is really special. I mean, there's great stories of Graham Moore sitting down in Nora's apartment with Ido trying to get this movie off the ground, sitting in that apartment, you know. And, and, and I suppose it's, it's that idea is, you know, you have to, you know, believe in your projects and they really believed in this. Thanks to all of you for being here. You know, for us, being in Los Angeles is always very inspiring because Hamilton has been working for more than 60 years with prop masters, with costume designers. And with all these years working with Hollywood, we understood the critical role played by all the off-screen talents. And that's why we decided 10 years ago to create the Hamilton Behind the Camera Award. The Hamilton Behind the Camera Awards was founded to give you this night the ones who dedicate so much of yourselves to film and don't nearly receive as much recognition as you should. Grapes of Wrath, Gone with the Wind, Citizen Kane, Dr. Strangelove, these are all films that Bennett Miller had nothing to do with. In 1998, Bennett came out with his first film called The Cruise. Since then, Capote, Moneyball, and now Foxcatcher. At this rate, by the time Bennett Miller is 100 years of age, he will have done over five films. It's true, it's very true. Look, we are here tonight in part to honor Bennett, uh, but most of all, we are here because we are in fear of him. Bennett Miller's very scary. He's super, super scary. Um, have you met Bennett Miller? If you haven't... Don't talk to him. And if you haven't, Mr. Carell's part in Foxcatcher playing John DuPont is basically an impression of Bennett Miller. He is uh, one of a kind. He is a true visionary. Uh, he is honest. He is somebody that uh, we both respect and we've entrusted uh, all, of, all of our careers to. <laughs> 
um, and, and we couldn't be happier to be here tonight. Yeah, seriously, there's no one else in the world that I would fall into battle. We love you, Bennett. Ladies and gentlemen, Bennett Miller. Thank you guys, and thank Hamilton, and thank you all for having an award that takes a minute to recognize the kinds of contributions that actually get the films done. Thank you. Writing something great is even harder. J.C. Chandor makes it look easy. And while it looks easy, it's not. J.C.'s back there sweating, not sleeping, writing draft after draft after draft. Sometimes agents, I think, don't give all you actors uh, the scripts we send, but a part in margin call. What's your middle name? Emerson? <laughs> I named a part after Will. Um, and I wanted him to play it, and I thought that if I named the part after him, that might get... <laughs> and over the last five years, um, I've been on an incredible journey and have had so many people that are either in this room right now, producers, behind the scenes people who have taught me over the last five years basically how to make a movie. And it's an honor to be here tonight surrounded by all of you talented people. And I'm so happy to present the very well-deserved Breakthrough Producers Award to Nora Grossman, Ido Ostrowski, and Teddy Schwartzman. It was three years ago today that I read a screenplay about a man named Alan Turing. And I hadn't heard of Alan Turing, but after reading that screenplay and doing my own independent research, realized how important it was to tell this story. And we had no clue that Turing's story would attract such talent as Alan Leach. We sort of slotted him in there last minute, but we appreciate you being there. Matthew Good, Mark Strong, Charles Dance, Kira Knightley, and of course the man who transforms into Alan Turing, Benedict Cumberbatch. We didn't know that someone like Billy Goldenberg would even consider editing an indie, or that Alexander Desplat would work 24 hours a day, three, three weeks straight to write and record the most beautiful score so that we didn't mix our final mix date, mix date which we couldn't push any further. Everyone made sacrifices and it, it really wasn't a cushy shoot. We worked uh, six day weeks, we had no craft services, we had no heat, uh, and we were based out of a, a startup Bollywood studio which seemingly forgot to provide carpeting, internet, or toilets. Um, but we stayed focused on, on what was important, and that was telling Turing's story and protecting his legacy. And we've tried to do justice to both of them with this film, uh, but only time will tell. Thank you very much to Hamilton for acknowledging us on a job so few understand. We accept this award on behalf of everyone who worked on this movie in any capacity and helped to carry on Alan Turing's legacy. I'm thrilled to present this award for best production design to Donald Graham Burke. On Gone Girl, I, as always, I had a very special crew and it's important to recognize them because they are the people that make me look as if I know what I'm doing. And I want to thank the people in Missouri that worked with me and the people in Los Angeles to pull it all together. It was a tremendous honor and I'm deeply moved to be a part of this brilliant ensemble cast and beautiful adaptation of the beloved Broadway musical. Please put your hands together for the three visionaries that brought Into the Woods to life on screen. They are my friends, I love them, John DeLuca, Rob Marshall, and Mark Platt, the recipients of the Producers Award. I, I've been wanting to make Into the Woods for a very long time. And, um, but it was in 2011, uh, which was the 10th anniversary of the 9-11 attack, I was watching uh, President Obama speak to the families of the victims of, uh, of the attack. And um, he said to them, trying to comfort them and console them, he said, uh, you are not alone, no one is alone. And um, that's, uh, if you don't know the Into the Woods, it's, it's, it's one of the important numbers in the piece. It, um, it says a lot about the central theme of loss and moving forward. And uh, a very special, <clears throat> a special um, reason to do it. And I thought, this is something we need to do. So I said to John, I think it's time we maybe make in, Into the Woods a film. Uh, he captures different emotions, feelings, and tones with sounds, melodies, and beats for such an array of movies, further showing his diverse talent for putting just the right notes at precisely the right moment. 
It doesn't matter if it needs to sound moody or upbeat, quiet or full. Alexandra is game to do it, and he does it thoughtfully and magnificently. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a complete honour to present the Lifetime Achievement Award to seriously the most prolific and brilliant composer today, and that's Alexandre Desplat. Because we all work very hard and we don't sleep much and we don't see our families and our friends and, and, uh, and we always complain that it's so hard, but why do we do this job? Because we love it, I guess. And I see all these films and all these pieces of films and I realize that it's joy and it's excitement. And I see them just now as if it was the first time. Um, one of the directors I've worked with, uh, and there's other people here I've worked with without having ever met them on Benjamin Button um, or in Wes Anderson's movies. Um, but tonight we have Morton Tilden, who's the director of Imitation Game. Um, we, we, we met when the movie was completed and he asked me to, to try and write the score in a very short uh, time. So we're back to when I started. <laughs> I had only a few weeks to, to, to write and record. But you all know that when you work with a director who has a strong point of view, taste, energy, and a great musicality, everything is much easier. And uh, thank you, Morton, for that. You know, there's two moments, in, in three moments maybe, uh, in, my, in, my, in my journey in a, on a film. I guess the first one is when you get the story in your hands and, and you see the film and you, you, you're excited because that's something you've never done. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a world that you, you're discovering that you've never seen. The second is when, after long hours of work or nights, you finally find the chord or the melody line that you were trying to achieve. And the next moment is when you hear it on in the studio on the podium. And believe me, it's an incredible uh, sensation. I wish we could one day go all together on the podium and feel what it is to feel an orchestra blasting at you just by a movement of your hand or being playing with just one hair of the bow, pianissimo. Um, so um, it's pure beauty. So thank you for allowing me to do this. And uh, we're all behind the camera here. Thank you. Ellen has such a hard job and she is so talented and amazing and really such a major aspect of the show that I was just super happy to be here because she's honestly so great. I've known this work for a very long time, but now I'm intimately involved in it in the imitation game. And um, the main theme of that for the, for the film that he created is so, is so staggeringly beautiful. Having all these people around me, of course the producers, director, actors of, of Imitation Game is, is a joy, but also all the other people in the room. I have to thank Hamilton for that and LA Confidential. Thank you. 